this is Somnath from Somtest and this is the second video of the series of tutorial video of Linux shell programming tutorial. So in this video I am going to cover up making a new directory, making a new file and the file contained and the how to save the file and how to see the directory file and folder list in this video. So let's get started. <laughs> So I have opened my terminal and all the terminal with how to open and all the starting information or introduction I have done in my previous video. So watch this video before watching this video. So here you can see the first thing is that how to create a directory or folder. So as I said you have to create a directory. So I am now going to create under oh, here I am going to show you this is the main default file or default folder you can say. So this is the default system path. So here, let me first delete it. So this is the main directory slash home slash desktop or everything you are doing you are going to save will be saved here. You can see right there. So if you are going to create a directory mkdir command, mkdir command used to use the directory the syntax is that mkdir space your folder or directory name then press enter remember in this shell command everything you are going to write in small caps don't use large caps unless and until it is in inverted comma or semicolon i will show you the later so remember this thing only like mkdir or every command will be in lowercase but if you are going to give any file or folder name in uppercase you can do it but the command will be in lowercase so here i am going to make the folder name as shell s h e double and i am going to put s as capital then press enter and here you can see it has been created so to check it go to graphically and here you can see it has been created so another thing is that to see it is created or not you can use ls command so here you can see the shell here it is already created so the all the details of this shell command or ls command i will show you in my future video so i am not going to give you the all the details regarding ls command keep subscribed to some tips to get more videos and more details about this ls command and all the shell programming so ls to see the directory and dir command if you have used in dos as in windows os it is exactly the same thing so next thing is going to have created the mkdir now i am going to cd cd means change directory so if i am going to move into the cell folder you have to press cd space cell remember very case sensitive linux so if you press small cell you cannot go into the cell so if you have put the s as capital remember always put s as capital so if you press cell here you can see it is showing no such file or directory you have to press s as capital so that's why linux is very case sensitive but in windows you cannot find any kind of problem like this so now what i am i am under cell so now if i am under cell you can create file or folder so i am now going to any file or folder is present in under cell or not so nothing is present there now another thing is that if you are going to create any file you have to use cat command and basically this cat command create a text pad or notepad file dot txt command dot txt extension but uh, cat command before going to cat command i am going to touch command touch command what does touch command in the touch command you cannot save any kind of data inside the file but it will create a blank file of zero byte so if you press touch space the file name if uh, the extension is not necessary in here it will by default create a notepad file so the syntax is that T O U C H touch space your file name press enter it will create a blank file under the present operational directory so touch space the something file name i'm going to suppose now i'm going to file name as t1 or f1 
so f1 has been created so here you can see f1 is present there now i'm going to show you in graphically that state f1 but if you go into properties of that file you can see it is zero byte so that is the thing the zero byte or no information is given there if you double click on it and here you can see nothing is there under this file but if you go to enter manually here any kind of data and it will be saved automatically so now f1 have been saved now i'm going to show you how you can put uh, document data inside the file using the terminal so the syntax of the command is cat cat then greater than arrow if you are putting data inside it it will be greater than if you are putting data you are going to i am going to show you how to see the file later but if you are going to give the data if your space is mandatory then put the file name so i am going to show you f2 so remember another thing if you are going to old file name it will be overwritten by default so if i would press f1 the previous f1 will be deleted so remember that's this thing so now here you can see no shell is coming here the cursor is blinking that's mean user is advised to enter some text so after this if you dot and then enter it go to next line to end this procedure you have to press ctrl z i've been stopped so if you are also press the Control D, it will also stop. The two things we Control Z or Control D to stop the procedure. I remember one thing I have already first of all written that this is the cell program, but last I have written then I have written hi, then I have written hello. So after all this thing, I am now going to show you what is the present content of the file. so hello is the present content of the file so now i'm going to show you the ls so in f1 i have to two is given there so that's the thing here i'm going to show you and if you are going to read the content of the file what you have to use you have to use cat less than space file name so that's it hello have been written it is now showing up here so another thing is that if you are going to press get space the file name it will also show so it is not mandatory to use the less than six sign in to read the content of the file from the file but it is mandatory to use the greater than file greater than sign into input of file so that's the difference without less than file less than sign you can read the file but you cannot write the file without the greater than sign so as i press said and if you any moment of instance if you want to see the present working directory you have to press present pwd so i am now in somnath under slash sale so i have covered how to create directory how to see the directory content and how to create file how to view file and everything i have covered up here so another thing is that in the touch if you have if one is created now i am going to save something inside this blank file so after this press on save and then close it and go to the terminal again so now i am going to what is under code f1 so that's it the data have been written unless and if you have created a blank file data have been written so that's the end of this video and stay subscribed to some tips to get more self programming tutorials in very near future thanks for watching this video see you soon in my next video